Police arrest a man living in Auburn in connection to a 26 year old cold case, a sexual assault and murder that happened on the opposite side of the country. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Goldberg. And I'm Lindsay Mills. 44 year old Stephen Downs was arrested after a multi agency investigation involving police in Maine and Alaska. That's where the body of 20 year old Sophie Sergi was found in a dorm bathroom on the campus of the University of Alaska Fairbanks back in April of 1993. Suspect DNA was taken from the scene and uploaded into the FBI's combined DNA index system, but there was no known match for the DNA profile until now. Now that DNA testing at the center of this case is the same technology that was used to arrest the Golden State Killer after 40 years. As home DNA test kits become more and more popular, major discoveries are unfolding, but some ask at what cost? This arrest is the culmination of years of effort and tenacious attention by this department to solve a horrendous murder. An arrest in an Alaska cold case thanks to new DNA technology. You find a good match, it's like, we might be able to solve this case. Paraben Nano Labs out of Virginia has pioneered what it calls snapshot genetic genealogy. All of that has really come together into a perfect storm that's made this technology now possible. Before, DNA testing only matched close relatives. Paraben uploads DNA to a public database to find relatives as distant as third cousins. The company's genealogist then rebuilds a family tree using public data, generating new leads for police. It's the same lab authorities in Alaska contacted for help about the unsolved sexual assault and murder of Sophie Sergi. Using suspect DNA taken from the scene, the lab identified an aunt of the suspect Suspect, and she only had one possible second degree relationship with a male relative, her nephew, Stephen Downs. Police had to close the loop by getting a DNA swab from Downs. This combination of DNA testing and genealogy has helped police find suspects in dozens of decades old cases, including the Golden State Killer. One month after the arrest in that case, a blog post from the ACLU questioned whether the new technology jeopardizes human rights. Blockbuster investigations, as gratifying as they are, shouldn't obscure the very real dangers of government access to sensitive information, wrote Vera Eidelman, an ACLU staff attorney. Meanwhile, authorities in Alaska are praising the lab's work. Justice for Sophie is finally within reach. And I spoke to several of Downs' neighbors in Auburn earlier today. All declined our request for an on-camera interview, but most said they didn't really know him and his arrest hits too close to home. Uh, Downs is at the Anniscargan County Jail. He is due to be in court tomorrow. Also, he most recently worked as a nurse in the Auburn area. According to these court documents, we're also learning tonight that Downs was issued a warning in 2016 from Maine's Board of Nursing following reported complaints from co-workers of statements he made that made them feel uncomfortable. He was ordered to complete a course in professional boundaries.